Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today is going to be another NPG video or new player guides video in which we discuss uh, the Dwarven Association and I can tell you how to fully optimize it every single day, so let's go! So. As you well know, the NPG series is a series oriented for or specifically made for new players in order to help them improve and help them um, catch on to uh, different um, areas of the game and under better understand how it works and what to do every single day so you start having good uh, practices early on. So your account is going to progress as efficiently as possible. So today's uh, topic is going to be the Dwarven Association. So the Dwarven Association has is composed of the Black Market, the Guild Shop, the Arena Shop, and the Awakening Shop. So um, let me claim my rewards from the last Arena season really quickly. And um, there are different uh, things to know for each and every shop. So let's start by order with the black market so as you can see here in the black market you can receive insignias you can receive um, items you can receive heroes in the first row um, and the heroes go up to rare rarity uh, they cannot go further than that and um, as you will probably come to find out in the future you'll also be able to receive discounted uh, huge stamina potions or um, outright just stamina for diamonds or um, even discounted rare summoning crystals so uh, that sounds pretty good already right so what should you focus on because you can see that there are some uh, some things that you can buy with gold and some things that you can buy with diamonds um, right now ironically enough I only have Q to buy as diamonds but usually will be able to have multiple things to to uh, buy with diamonds so let me show you what i want you to do every single day in the black market shop so you get the most out of your black market as a new player or even as a play or late game player like if you don't do this already you definitely should because it's going to help your account progress massively so Let's start off with the heroes. What you want to do is actually buy every single fodder hero. In case you don't know what fodder hero is, fodder heroes are usually heroes that you're going to level up and then sacrifice them to level up uh, more important heroes like epics or legendaries. So uh, <coughs> those are called fodder. What I want you to do every single day <coughs> is actually buy every single hero in the first line that you can buy with gold. Do not buy heroes that are, for example, like you cover here, discounted for diamonds because you'll never want to use or buy rare heroes with diamonds you'll usually get them by summoning and then you after you'll have every single rare hero out there you'll just get gonna get duplicates and you're, then you're gonna sell them because you can sell each and every single um, uh, rare, rare hero that you get from summons for about uh, 30 diamonds each so that's going to help you increase your uh, diamonds in each summoning session so never do that so first thing uh, buy um, the gold fodder hero every single time then in the last two rows of the black market shop every single time I want you to buy the every single insignia that you can see like I'm buying here that is with gold the blue insignias the rare insignias the um, legendary insignias every single insignia that you see I want you to buy it then uh, as long as it's with gold that's very important then as long as it's with gold I want you to buy every single uh, piece of mythic gear that you know is going to be useful for you. Let's, so let's go, let's say that, for example, um, this piece of gear would have been from uh, the um, let's see what what set we want over here. So let's say it's going to be from um, from uh, the um, calamity set. So if that was for a calamity set, I need a calamity piece. That's good. I would just buy it. So you buy it. And then what I want you to do is look at it, uh, for example if it was a Calamity, this would have been decent if it had also a uh, crit rate. So I would look, it has attack bonus, attack, crit damage, if it has, it would, it would, if it was a Calamity piece and it could also have 
uh, crit rate I would have just locked it and then kept it kept it there for future reference and if I wanted to upgrade it with gold but since this is not the piece I want to keep I'm just gonna sell it so there is chance there is a chance there though for you to buy good mythic gear from the black market shop it happened to me before it happened to other players as well so um, it seems like you're done right well, not yet, because in the black market shop you also want to look for either um, rare summoning crystals, discounted rare summoning crystals, usually those are 88 diamonds in the shop or in the summoning, uh, summoning area, but uh, you can get them discounted in the black market for 70 or even 60 or 50, which is amazing, right? You're going to save up some, uh, some diamonds for each summon that you can buy from the black market shop. You'll want to buy with diamonds the huge stamina potions that that is mandatory those are very important stamina is one of the most important resources in the game and I, what i want you to buy also either with gold or diamonds is the um uh, out of fight chances which are very important as well and then if there the page looks like now like mine looks now uh, i want you to ref to refresh it so free refresh use it then repeat the process buy every single father hero with gold then look in watch insignia you can buy with uh, gold as well the other two are with diamonds we do not buy insignias with diamonds anything else useful here no because we do not want these items let's use the free refresh again buy the father hero the insignia with gold nothing nothing else interesting free refresh again the father again out of five chances discounted for diamonds buy this insignia this is not a, a piece from a mythic piece from a set that I want to actually buy, so we do not buy this yet anymore. Refresh, buy the insignia. As you can see, the refresh button now costs 500 gold. Do it, uh, it's way worth it. Buy the auto fight chances. As you can see, we have a huge stamina potion discounted here, which is amazing. We're gonna buy this. Uh, anything else? No. We refresh for 500 the gold again. You can see it turns to 1000. We buy the father again. The insignias nothing else interesting here do not go for these these are very much a bait you're gonna get a lot of legendary extracts in the future now it turned on 1000 uh, gold we refresh again for out 1000 gold we buy the father we buy the auto fight chances the insignia and if you want you can still refresh for five diamonds it's not a big deal it's not that much it's going to help you if you feel like you want to keep it sure you can keep it i usually just go until it turns to 10 diamonds so we buy this we buy everything and then that's gonna be it for today for today right as you can see the refresh is time is going to refresh itself uh, at every 40 to one hour 40 minutes to one hour i think um so every hour you if you come back you're going to have this refreshed and you can do this again but um, you can do these refreshes as you can see for basically free almost so uh, this is going to help you a lot because the father heroes are going to help you um, help you clear up any future events for example the um, level up um, event is going to provide two legendary summoning uh, two legendary skill up crystals which are very very scarce and those are very important and that's why you want to buy the father heroes so you can upgrade them in the future um, in the future events and then after you finish everything in the black market you want to go to the guild shop and every single week just know that every single week um, there's going to be a refresh for three rare summoning two rare summoning crystals sorry so you want to buy those and a legendary skill crystal which is amazing you want to buy that and usually it's going to be also a huge stamina potion uh no 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 the huge stamina potion is actually in the arena shop so what i want you to be mindful about is also keep a few arena um guild uh, guild coins for the gold bonus which is available to buy only from this shop so what I want you to buy daily, is, um, I actually weekly, but um, what I want you to look out for every single week or every single day if it has reset the timer for the legendary skill crystal and if you bought the rare summoning crystals that reset weekly. And then make sure that if you buy the legendary skill crystal or any of the mythic artifacts over here, the flux pendant might be quite good. Um, 
you also keep around 400 for the gold bonus in case you need it so we are done with the guild shop and then with the arena shop uh, as similar to the guild shop the arena shop provides you three summoning crystals rare summoning crystals weekly so i want you to make sure to buy those and then every two weeks you'll be able to buy a legendary skill crystal i think i mean week uh, every month you'll be able to buy that and then an ancient summoning crystal and if you reach platinum 3 and then overlord which i'm going to do you'll also be able to buy another ancient summoning crystal and a legendary summoning crystal so make sure that you buy these monthly and then make sure that every single day you buy the huge stamina potion this stamina potion resets daily i mean every 12 and a half hours as you can see here but this is very important just buy these every, as any times you see it available just basically buy it because these are very important so then this is what you want to do i would keep my uh i would keep uh, my arena coins by where you and i wouldn't buy these uh, extra unless it's going you know it's going to help you a lot but let's say the um, epic skill crystals are very important too if you want uh, these are pretty scarce as well but you don't necessarily want to use for example let's say i would have only 703 um, arena coins i wouldn't spend them on the epic skill crystal and i would just uh, keep them there and accumulate some more so i can buy these you know, the next time it, uh, it resets so make sure to buy the rare summoning crystals weekly make sure to buy the last row um even especially if you advanced up, up until overlord in the arena uh, monthly and make sure to buy the huge stamina potions daily then the awakening shop so the awakening shop is kind of interesting because it has some type of rotation so every single week the soul uh, the soul stone the legendary soul stone is going to change for another hero uh, last week uh, it was for um, for arrogance which was quite good and another interesting area is the legendary skill crystal this one's going to cost um, um, epic awakening tokens every two weeks so let's say last week you could have bought one for uh, legendary awakening token uh, uh, tokens and this week you can buy it for purp uh, purple or epic awakening token so um, I want you to keep your your uh, epic awakening tokens because not many people have legendary awakening tokens anyway for when you can buy the legendary skill crystal this is very 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 important it helps you a lot especially because mm, you'll need to upgrade your legendaries um, skills so other than that some things are useful but i wouldn't consume your resources or my resources on anything else but legendary skill crystal and if you have legendary so legendary um, awakening tokens for the um, for a specific legendary soul stone so let's tell you let me tell you what these are so you can maybe have a better understanding the soul stones are basically shards not shards but but basically a piece another piece of a hero that uh, you can use to further increase his, his awakenings for example if i wanted to increase cerberus's uh, awakening instead of getting him from a legendary pool i can buy his soul stone and using his soul stone i can increase his awakening so let's say that maybe some people have cerberus a4 and they want him a5 they can consume their legendary awakening tokens to buy his soul stone from here but uh, in order to obtain the resources over here which are legendary awakening tokens and uh, epic awakening tokens you have to sell either epic for epic awakening tokens or legendary heroes for legendary awakening tokens in my opinion i think you should never sell legendaries ever unless you have that specific legendary a5 because even though the legendary might be bad let's say you have a shamir or a crash or whatever those are very probable to receive a buff in the future so you wouldn't want to miss out on that maybe that hero is going to help you in, in some future content uh, and he's going to become more valuable so selling legendaries for something in this shop i think it's um, a bad idea but uh, if you're in a point or if you're a whale or if you're in a point in your account where you have a lot of heroes and you had to sell your legendaries 
here's a, a way to spend those resources over here. But uh, I wouldn't spend them on anything, even if you hired those resources, the legendary awakening tokens, unless it's something amazing. So, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, make sure, again, an, a, a quick TLDR. Uh, make sure that you refresh the black market uh, shop every single day. Uh, and make sure to buy the father heroes in the first row with gold. Make sure to buy um, the insignias with gold, the auto fight chances with gold, and sometimes uh, some uh, mythic gear that you need. If your count is lower, buy the gear that might help you improve. It's going to help you quite a lot. For example, if you're uh, if you have an early account and most of your gear is rare or um, or legendary, you can buy the uh, er, most of your gear is rare. You can buy the epic one. So that is going to improve you your account a little bit. Other than that, with diamonds, I want you to buy the discounted huge stamina potions and rare summoning crystals and auto fight chances. So after you reach the 10 diamonds refresh um, currency mark, go to the guild shop, make sure that you buy the rare summoning crystals that you provide weekly and the legendary skill crystal. Then go to the arena shop, make sure you buy the three rare summoning crystals provided weekly and then depending on your um pvp rank by the last row with uh, your currency then buy the huge stamina potion every 12 and a half hour if you can uh, you can buy once a day it's still gonna help and then in the awakening shop every two weeks make sure to use your uh, epic awakening tokens if you reach that point and you have those resources to buy the legendary skill crystal so this is gonna be it i hope uh, it i was cohesive enough and you understand uh, and it's going to help you um, Let me know if this was useful Another thing I wanted to add is I wanted to thank everyone and each and every one of you that decided to subscribe um, Even though it's maybe one subscriber per day or Zero subscribers per day and then two subscribers plus again in the next I am still grateful for people that decide to subscribe on to my to my youtube channel i really am serious with this and i'm really really excited to grow even further so each and every one of you that already subscribed thank you very much i see you and i appreciate you and each and every one of you that will subscribe i can't wait for you to interact with more of my channel and get more value out of it so yeah a big thanks to each and every one of you i know i'm not that big of a channel anyway now but i appreciate you so um Again, hope this was helpful. Uh, don't forget to like, to subscribe, to leave a comment. I read every single comment that I see. This has been uh, Andy, Event Horizon Gaming. See you guys.